Hey Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How's my gang gang doing? For those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, which is every day, seven days a week. Uh, make sure to smash that like, you guys, so that way other Scorpios can get their messages and know about our channel. Two special offers I've got going on right now is for live tarot card readings with my private tarot card readers. Um, you just say my 2022 and you get $10 off your reading, okay? It's for the new year for the month of January. If you want a personal love reading with me, you can book it through my website, www.heartpassiontarot.com and pay for it there, okay? Everything else that you need, social media, all that stuff is listed down below, Scorpio, all right? So today is January the 7th. Let's start with the Moonology Manifestation deck and let's see what we've got. For Scorpio, well, one card just came, it just kind of rolled out of the deck and landed face up. For Scorpio, I call upon my angels, I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. I'm only gonna take the ones that come up face up. There we go. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Let's see what we've got, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, first one. Assess the situation. Okay, there may be some kind of goal, something that you're trying to get off the ground, Scorpio. And it's saying you need to figure out how you're going to make that happen. Is it going to work for you? It could be anything, right? It could be getting a house, a brand new car, um, starting your own business. It's different. You see how this person's just kind of looking at everything from a distance, trying to figure stuff out. <clears throat> so, you need to assess the situation here, okay, before you make any moves, all right? Make sure. Look at everything from every angle, Scorpio. Detoxify. I feel some of you have been feeling tired, um, alone, having too much to do, too many problems to deal with. You may have started drinking <laughs> just to relax, but now it's becoming like a daily thing. A Scorpio, spirit is saying, to, you know, don't, because now it's becoming an issue. So try to clean up your energies, try to stop doing substances or drinking alcohol or whatever that is that you are doing. That's for some of you, right? It's just time for you to, you know, really take good care of yourself, your health, right? What you're putting inside your body, okay? It's all part of your spiritual ascension, your spiritual growth. Go for it. There's something that you want to do. You've been holding back from doing it. Spirit's saying, you know what? Go for it, Scorpio. It's time. Do it for you. So that you can be happy. Scorpio. <laughs> Find a balance. Okay? Some of you are going from one extreme to the other, doing things. You may be spending a lot of money. Find a, a, a good balance there. You may be buying things that you don't really need. You know, just find your balance there. All right? Don't go from one extreme to the other. Okay? Be careful with your money too, Scorpio. Trust the universe. The universe has a plan, for sure, Scorpio. So, just trust in the universe. Give them the wheel. Ask them for guidance, like we've talked about before. And things will start falling into place for you. Open up to change. I know things are very comfortable the way you're doing things, how you're doing things. It could be your work. It could be your home. Be open to change. Okay? Maybe some of you are still holding on to somebody from the past. The Spirit is saying, you know what? It's time to let that go. And move into the new. Okay? And allow the change to come into your life. Okay, let's go with the mystical wisdom for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay, caught it. 
for Scorpio, please. For January the 7th, dear angels, what do you have for the sign of Scorpio? I love you, Scorpio. What do we have for the sign of Scorpio for today, January the 7th? All right, Scorpio, let's see what this is about. Dolphin, don't worry, be happy. I know these energies are very difficult and you may be getting into a thing about, you know, feeling bad about everything from love to your finances to your past. Spirit is saying, don't do that. Be happy. And just know that whatever's going on, it's the energies, the retrogrades, all that stuff that's happening right now. You got an opportunity here that's available to you. It's up to you whether you take it or not. Okay? Could be a move. Could be somebody saying to you, hey, you know, let's work together. Moving forward, going towards positive change. So a lot of you, that's exactly what you're doing. You're not waiting around for anybody anymore. You're moving forward with your life. You don't quite know which direction you're going in completely yet, but you are moving forward. There's options, that's why, Scorpio. So they're telling you to move forward. Animal bond. They want you to bond more with animals, with nature. Something about that for you here. A lot of you are already. Those of you that haven't, there's something about animals here. It brings you, it helps you along your path of spirituality. Okay? Let's go to the Romance Angel deck. A lot of you have a very strong a bond with animals. That's spirit. For Scorpio's love life, please. For January the 7th, what does Scorpio need to know? Okay. All right. So Scorpio, you may need to give a particular connection a chance, okay? I feel you've been holding back. Um, you don't want to be codependent on anybody in regards to um, money. Maybe the person that you're thinking about is more financially um, better off than you are, okay? So you're trying to get your finances together so that you can come together with the person that you want to come together with. And it's saying very soon. Okay. Next message, please, for Scorpio. For Scorpio. I feel that's for a very independent Scorpio who's, like, worked all their life. For Scorpio, please, for January the 7th, what do we have? children came out okay so there's somebody here maybe you maybe your person maybe both of you are single parents with children okay there may be a hold up in this situation but spirit is saying to you it's worth waiting for okay that it's safe for you to love this person you find this person very attractive I feel, Scorpio, you want uh, the children to meet first before you take this any further. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio. Unrequited love. Oh, you've got somebody from the past that was an absolute nightmare who's trying to get in contact with you. You just don't have any feelings for this person. If anything, this person upsets you very much. Card down, Scorpio. Yeah, I mean, you just, this is somebody, you had a relationship with this person on the past. 
I feel you just want to move away from this situation, right? And have some alone time to yourself. You may have had to block this person. Spirit is saying, for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, when it comes to their love life for January 7th, some of you are getting ready to have a reconciliation with your soulmate. Pay attention, though, to the red flags. This person may have done you down and dirty in the past. It's too many cards. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. You may have to tell this person how you truly feel and what they've done to you. For others of you, you will be having a reconciliation. But you still need to be careful. This person is your soulmate. But there's some red flags there. Or maybe you're worried about it because there's red flags. Or this person did some things in the past that you are, um, you don't know. They're saying, look, they may be your soulmate, but you need to free yourself from this situation. This person... It's a soulmate, but it's not a good one. Let's put it that way. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for January the 7th, please. They want you to love yourself first. They want you to be in the here and now, Scorpio. They want you to have fun. They want you to date and have a good time. Others of you have to make the effort to release an ex. Okay? In order for you to move into this new connection of chemistry and flirting and love, which will have an opportunity for you to actually move in together, take it the next step, engagement, marriage. But the past needs to be let go of. You're currently in separation with somebody that you love a lot. Uh, Scorpio, you may be reaching out to your friends for help here, okay? For a lot of you, you're in separation with somebody who loves you and you love them. You may have put it in a friend zone. Uh, Scorpio, but I'm seeing that this is the person that you're actually supposed to marry in the future. A lot of you are calling in your soulmate, but um, you only want them if they're spiritual like you. If they're not, you don't want to indulge. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody. Okay, and get to know them better and spend quality time um, with this person. I do feel that if they haven't come into your life already, they're coming into your life. Um, it's saying that this is true love and this is the love that you deserve, Scorpio. Okay, keep an open mind. This person may be different than you. Okay, and you really need to spend time to speak from the heart and really get to know this person. But I feel you already know somebody like this who is spiritual like you. If not, then your person's coming in at first sight. You may say, oh, no, I'm not interested. But when you get to know them, your, your, um, your feelings will change. Because I feel it won't just be what's on the outside. It's the whole person's persona that you're going to fall in love with. This could be the one. You have romantic feelings. You may have met somebody who you are falling in love with here. And you're very passionate about. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, this one they're saying. Okay. Somebody may have betrayed you in the past okay um, could have lied to you 
trust what your intuition is telling you about this person okay you may need to let this go okay but you still need to stay optimistic about your love life okay there may be some things you still need to heal within yourself here um, maybe it's family issues maybe it's just about forgiving this person and moving on because you do have new love coming in but it's all about not trying to control who it is you know and just kind of go with the flow and let things happen or when this new love does come in Scorpio try not oh, the cards are just flying card down Scorpio um, don't try to control it okay spirit is telling you with the animal spirit cards that you need to take a leap of faith now and see the bigger picture clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio they want you to think on your feet Scorpio be wise as to what's going on around you or who's coming around you for Scorpio please clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio there's something that you need to let go of they may return they may want to start up with you again you're going to need to cut them off and set healthy boundaries for yourself Scorpio for Scorpio please for Scorpio be loyal to what you love Scorpio right now for Scorpio and I feel for you if you have children it's your children it's your family it's your your own business whatever it is for you that is important to you there's always enough Scorpio you do have abundance coming to you here and they want you to be in the here and now again we're getting that same message they want you to enjoy your life some things that you're thinking about right now yeah okay they're exactly the way you are thinking them for others of you you may think that somebody doesn't really care about you but they actually do but they just have a hard time expressing themselves okay I'm also feeling a lot of you may be dealing with somebody who does have very strong feelings for you but they put you in a friend zone because that way they don't have to worry about getting their heart broken okay so that's what I've got for you I hope to enjoy this sending you much love and many blessings and I'll see you again tomorrow loving kisses bye